addressed, which is what is the option? What happens if this doesn't get signed tomorrow? The answer is simple. Potential litigation. Not they're going to build hundreds and hundreds of units on the Dixiedale property. No. Not that we're going to have to rezone the whole community. The, 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 what happens is potential litigation. We would admittedly, presuming no uh, further adjournment was granted, which I don't think would necessarily be the case, particularly in the context of the pandemic. But if the settlement is not settled tomorrow. Um, so, so the options, there are really two options. It's sign the settlement agreement or don't sign the settlement agreement. Mark, please. Sorry. You know, my, I would speak on behalf of the people I'm speaking to say that we would implore the committee uh, to direct Mr. Cruz to inform the judge and our adversaries from Fair Share, Share Housing that we're sorry, but the community has spoken. There is an outpouring of outrage against this, and we can't in good faith, faith sign this settlement agreement on behalf of our, our constituents. But that means that this is then so be it. You know, and sometimes that is just something that has to happen in the world. And I see here, and a whole separate group, to Mr. Murray's thing about all these people out here today, a few months ago, there was an entirely separate group of equally inflamed township residents out here talking about this area. So the fact is, is everybody in the community is behind this. Virtually nobody in the community is in favor of this. And if that means we all have to band together and gird ourselves for a little litigation, then so be it. That, that is something that's gonna have to happen, perhaps. But one point I would like to make, and I'll wrap on this, is just because the Builders Remedy immunity gets lifted, just because we become exposed to Builders Remedy, Remedy litigation, or even because we become involved in Builders Remedy litigation, doesn't forestall us from continuing to move on separate tracks with continuing to try and negotiate a resolution with the state and the fair share housing people. What it does do <laughs> is buy time. That litigation will take a very, very long time. And I think that there's gonna be litigation no matter what happens. So I'll close on this last note. There is going to be litigation. You've seen it here tonight. <laughs> so we are faced with two choices. You're faced with two choices. Litigation A, which is you, supported by all your constituents, standing up and fighting against builders lobby and people who are trying to force something on this community they don't want. Or B, litigation B, where you're the plaintiffs and you're suing an old lady to try and take her house away. Yeah. that uh, you know, I believe that the community has spoken and, and we as a group would uh, implore the committee members, especially those who have already said that they will never support a taking by eminent domain to reject the resolution that you're about to vote on. Thank you. Thank you.